Yeah. That was uh, pretty good. Those are a couple. Those are good numbers on those. We are setting a pretty good target <laughs> for Callaway to catch up with yeah. here. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here from Second Swing Golf. We are outside today on the driving range. Spring is family here in Minnesota. Today we're testing out a couple of drivers. Those of you on the channel may remember uh, initial testing for the Tour Edge Exotics C721 model. Thomas was hitting some bombs and uh, we got a lot of comments, a lot of feedback over the last couple of months asking for more tests of this driver. So today we've got it. Uh, we're going to compare it against Thomas's Gamer and the driver he is playing in 2021. Thomas, what is that? Yeah, so I have the Epic Max LS, nine degrees set down one, so set down to eight. You have noticed as my doing the swing speed over the last few months, my attack angles got pretty far up, so I need to lower that loft down yeah. a little bit. I still have the graphite design XC six X golf shaft in there at forty five and a quarter inches. Okay. Yeah. And so on right here I have the the Tour Edge that XC seven twenty one ha uh, hazardous smoke black RDX golf shaft here. So. Uh, the shafts are going to be different, club heads are going to be different, not going to be perfect kind of head-to-head -head test, of course, but um, also one thing to note, it's a little chilly outside, or it's barely scratching 40 degrees, so the swing speed <laughs> might be a little bit slower than maybe you've yeah. seen in indoor testing here from Thomas, but um, I'm excited to see what this, uh, this test res the results are. Yeah, and this is the heaviest, stiffest golf shaft that's going to resemble what, we're, what I'm currently playing in my game that we have, fitting, fitting components for Tour Edge Exotics. So it'll be close, it'll, it's not obviously the exact same golf shaft, but it's going to be very, very close comparison. We put them both down, the eight degrees aloft on them. Let's try and hit some more bombs. Yeah, bombs in the uh, cold April temperatures, <laughs> huh? Well, let's see how far it goes. Well, that's a good start. Yeah. That was uh, pretty good. Those are a couple, those are good numbers on those. We are setting a pretty good uh, <laughs> target for Callaway to catch up with yeah. here. <laughs> Definitely a different sound. That one was crushed, right? This is a little left. If the spin stays down on that, that is that like is a some high rocket. Launch. All right, Thomas, I was five with each now. The your first five with the Tour Edge Exotics C721, then the Epic Max LS from Callaway after that. Um, quick takeaway for me is dispersion. The Epic Max LS dispersion is extremely tight after five shots. I feel like it did hit five really good shots with this one. Now, I know I hit a couple of the good ones with the Tour Edge Exotics as well. There was one shot, I think it was the fifth shot with the Exotics. It did spin a little bit more. I think I caught it a little bit on the heel. On that one, the spin rate jumped into mm -hmm. the 3000 category. I haven't seen it that high with the Epic Max LS yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, that's you, a little bit more consistency with the Epic Max LS. I think you just had the miss hit there with the Exotic C721. Yep. But uh, what do you think in terms of look and feel on these, these two drivers? I mean, I'm putting them down next to each other here. Honestly, if I didn't have that, see that Ridgeback design on the Exotics, they would look fairly similar looking down at a dress. Okay. Now, the Callaway doesn't have that going on, so it looks a little bit cleaner at a dress. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, club head wise, we know the Epic Max LS is a little more larger profile, a little more forgiving, better in a lower spin inversion. Yeah. Well, the other one is, we know it's large and extreme MOI yeah. and it's printed all over it. Um, but it's, yeah, right. it's, it's performed pretty well. It seems like, yeah. the, you know, the, the, the C721 is just a little bit kind of geared more towards MOI maybe than the Epic Max LS. But yep. Again, you know, both are designed to give forgiveness and low spin at the same time. So um, we can maybe solidify this data a little bit here and uh, maybe go five with the Epic Max LS, five more with the Exotic C721, and then we'll see what we uh, can conclude here. All right, let's do that. Okay, so that one felt like it was just a little spinny there again. That club speed's going up too, 112.4.
That one's really good too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, so Thomas, um, total of 10 shots with each driver now. Um, exotic C721, you went five to begin with, then 10 in the middle, Epic Max LS, then five to finish with the Exotic C721. So I'm looking at the map, I'm looking at the numbers, um, but kind of before even really diving into the numbers, what do you think about the two drivers? I mean, both awesome. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, well, I don't know if, this is the first time I've been outside hitting since I've been doing my speed training. Yeah. And I know it's only 40 degrees out, but uh, the fact that I was getting my club speed over, on ele over 111 at times, yeah. With 40 degree temperature, makes me happy there too. Yeah. So, I was able to do that. I was able to swing fast, keep the ball launching high and spinning lower. So, mm -hmm. for all those three, essentially, is going to equal some serious distance. Yeah. And I was really impressed with how far I was hitting these. Drivers. Yeah, because I mean, if viewers that have watched our channel, you know, saw us last summer going outside into, um, you know, on the range and hitting drivers. You know, your speed was below 110 most of the time. And so I know it was a big deal. You did get over 110 and now it's 40 degrees, um, you know, first time in the spring and you're able to get over 111. It does show that that speed training has paid off. Yeah. But um, just wanted to, we'll t kind of expand the, uh, the chart here for numbers. So um, we'll talk club speed, ball speed, pretty similar for both. Um, uh, the Epic Max LS faster in both club speed and ball speed slightly. So club speed was 111.1 to the Exotics 110.7. And then the ball speed was 163.9 for the Epic Max LS, 163.2 for the C721. So pretty similar there. And then again, their spin is also very similar. 1940 with the Epic Max LS, 1986 with the C721. So um, really the big difference Looking at the numbers here is there was the shot, I think it was your fourth shot, where you kind of mishit the exotic C721. Spin yep. went up to nearly 3,000 and your total distance was 289, bringing the averages down. But other than that, the numbers are very similar between these two. Yeah, I definitely noticed that particular shot went a lot shorter. I think we're probably going to see it on the dispersion screen mm -hmm. here too. But otherwise, I mean, they were both really good. I mean, I think I might have hit my furthest drive today with the exotics. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't seen the numbers yet, but I feel like when I was peeking over as, as I was hitting, there was one there I really smoked with the exotics. I was like, wow, that's, uh, that, that's definitely pretty deep. Yeah, so I mean, we can look at the total distance maximums here. We got 319.3 exotic C721. That was your furthest drive. And the Epic Max LS, you had 317.7. So you're, I mean, consistently the distance for Epic Max LS, maybe a little bit, um, kind of on the averages, right? We had, if you look at the averages here, four yards further with the Epic Max LS, but you're maximum distance with C721 uh, in these 10 shots of each was higher. So um, I, I know you were commenting over and over as you were hitting too about how just straight and easy it was to hit the C721. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's what I think, I mean, what we're finding out is that is a really good value for someone that's in the market for a new driver in 2021. It's an extremely good value. For me, it was like, it was getting up, it was going in the air, but it wasn't spinning back. It was just kind of, it was just gliding through the yeah. air. And I was like, I can't believe the height that I'm hitting these shots with eight degree driver heads. And yes, it's a little to do with my attack angle, but the fact that it wasn't spinning back when mm -hmm. it was that high, I was really impressed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, this is good because I think a lot of viewers were kind of more curious about it at that first initial testing thinking, well, I mean, Thomas is smoking this and inside it was kind of the meat of your, your speed training as well. Seeing some good numbers, kind of see if it can back that up with another test here. And I think it did. I think it stacks up really well with the Epic Max LS for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's a great value club. I think it's, you know, it'll be priced a little bit cheaper than other manufacturers with their, mm -hmm. with their drivers. I mean, as we can see, it's, this is two tests now where this driver has performed really well for, you know, for Tour Edge exotics. And definitely don't forget about Tour Edge in, in the fitting. Right. One thing I just, for me, it felt like with the, with the Epic Max LS, so with my gamer, it just seemed like it was just a little bit tighter. It just seemed like, I, don't, I haven't seen the dispersion pattern, but it just yeah. felt like I was just maybe hitting it just a little bit straighter with a little bit less curve on it overall. Yeah, so the, I mean, the really big thing here is distance consistency in terms of your carry numbers. And you can see the map here for those that are looking. The red circle, which is the Epic Max LS, was much more consistent carry distance on there. It's actually a really nice, tight little oval. So that's something to take away too, is a consistent distance for carry that the Epic Max LS yep. was able to generate there. So, but I think this is a really, really good test and indication of kind of what's out there. So no, you got the Epic Max LS in your bag. And then the Tour Edge Exotics C721, another excellent option, uh, perhaps a better value out there uh, for golfers, maybe not trying to spend completely top dollar over $500. Um, 
the Exotics 2721 is great. So these are two great options. And then, of course, we encourage golfers, if they're able to, schedule a fitting uh, on the Second Swing Fitting website. Otherwise, if you're not near one of our stores, you can also schedule an online fitting, either through the phone or through a video chat with one of our uh, online fitting and support team members, and they'll set you up. So, uh, again, two great drivers today. This is a great test day, Thomas. Yeah, really, really fun. Uh, Tour Edge, Callaway, both very good driving models here in 2021.